Hey guys, BJ the Brave here, back with some more Warforge content, and today is a special one. We are bringing to you some brand new cards that are about to drop on Friday the 16th of August. Um, and not just new cards, but new cards from an entire new faction. That's right, folks. We're not talking about a reinforcement drop here of 10 cards. We're talking about a brand new stand on its own faction, just like we had with the Tau Empire, like we had with the Sisters of Battle. Exciting times indeed. And that new faction is the Gene Stealer Cults. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time on lore and whatnot, but just to avoid any confusion, this is nothing to do with Tyrannies. This isn't a Tyrannies spin-off. Um, it's actually more of an Imperium uh, function where the kind of uh, people are worshipping and praying to the Gene Stealer Cults. That's all I'm going to say on the lore. Uh, what I am going to do today is kind of keep it pretty short. I'm going to talk to you about a brand new faction, a brand new mechanic, sorry, that is coming with the factions. We're going to introduce that, and then we're going to go through five cards as well. So, are you ready? Let's jump on in. Alright, so first up, Ambush. Brand new mechanic. When a troop with Ambush is deployed, your opponent can't see which troop it is until it receives damage or attacks. So, it's like a hidden card, and if, as soon as it gets damaged or it attacks, then it, then, then it becomes unhidden. Your opponent won't see the artwork. They won't see the description. They won't see the stats. Not even the amount of energy used to play it. Both the stats and your energy uh, left will appear to your opponent as question marks. Moreover, if the troop leaves ambush during your turn, it will trigger an additional effect specific to each card. So you put the card down. It's in ambush. If, if you then attack with the card, imagine that it said something like ambush, deal two damage. So once you attack, it will trigger the ambush ability and it'll deal the two damage. All right, right, let's have, we've probably got some questions, so a couple of clarifying points. Troops that go into ambush when the troops go into ambush when they are deployed from hand and also when they are deployed through stratagems or card abilities. You can potentially trigger an ambush effect of a troop um, on the same turn that it comes into play. For example, if you damage yourself or if it has flank, yeah? If it's got flank, you can do it in the same, uh, in the same turn. When a troop in ambush attacks, the effect of ambush is resolved before the attack. And if that makes the attack invalid, because maybe, you know, you kill the unit that you're attacking, then the attack is cancelled and the troop can still attack this turn to a different target, though it no longer obviously remains hidden and it won't trigger the ambush effect a second time. Buffing or giving traits uh, to the ambush unit, to the hidden unit, won't reveal it. So that's good. It's only if it gets damaged or it does attack. And if it has Vanguard, the trait won't be shown, uh, if, uh, and it doesn't have any effect for as long as the troop is hidden. So it's kind of like when you when you've got Vanguard and you give some give it stealth, it kind of just temporarily loses the Vanguard. It doesn't block right because it's in hiding. Same thing. In general, enemies are going to try to attack or damage your troops that are in the ambush to prevent their effects because obviously the effects only go off when when they attack. So your opponent's going to try and damage them to prevent the effects. And also because that will reveal them from, from hiding, so they'll see what it is. Um, however, that's going to force them... Um, the, the fact that they don't know what the, the, they're facing, though, will force them to keep guessing and probably make inefficient uses of resources or accidentally uh, trade with something they didn't want to. Like, for example, say they use their Warlord to, to bash it, um, and then it, it's like a 10-10 status unit. That's going to hurt the Warlord. So... Hmm, very, very interesting. First card then, Acolyte Hybrid. Uh, this is a three drop. I want you to pay attention to these stats and which way around they are. You'll see in a minute. It's four melee, one range, and it's got four health. So this is a really um, pretty good status unit. And on Ambush, which remember is when it attacks, it will basically get plus two, plus two. So it would be a six, three on the attack. It's pretty good. Now, obviously, you might be thinking, well, if he plays it on E3... I'm going to know it's this ambush card, so I'm just going to attack it with the range attack. Let me show you the next card. Also three energy, and this one's got five range attack and one melee. So if he plays it on E3, which one do you attack? If you attack the range, uh, you, you're hoping it's the Acolyte, and it turns out to be the Neophyte, that's five damage that you take. It's quite good intercard um, design there. This one's only got three health, and it says uh, ambush deal two damage to a random enemy. Bit like Stern Guard Sergeant, that one, right? That two damage could land on the enemy Warlord. It could land on the thing that you're attacking and kill it. So a bit RNG-esque, if you like. Next up, we've got the Hulking Aberrant. Now, this one's concussive. We already know how good that is. Concussive stuns the um, 
uh, opponent. So, for example, when this is am ambush, if someone hits this thing to try and reveal it, they're going to not only take damage but stun themselves as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this says ambush gain plus three melee this turn. So what this is is just a big bruiser. It's got six health. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Uh, it's in hiding. If they don't guess correctly, you get to basically attack and obviously you do 10 damage. Now, obviously, if they do guess correctly and they hit this with something like a squig buggy, which has six range damage, they'll just kill it for free. So this one's kind of got like a high upside and a high downside at the same time. All right, let's take a look at the first stratagem, guys. Lying in wait, return a friendly troop to your hand and reduce its cost to one. We've just seen this one recently, haven't we? With the three drop in the new fruit expansion, same ability. This time, we're getting it on a stratagem that only costs two. Of course, it's a rare card, so we can actually get two of these as well. Pretty good. Pretty good value if we can bounce something back, like a, a really good flanker or a really good ambush unit, and reuse it. Uh, next up, we have the Subterranean Ambush, which says choose a friendly troop that died in battle and deploy it. The way this one usually works, if you think about mechanics in the game, is it will show us three cards at random that have died at any point in the game, and you'll get to choose one of those. Obviously, if it's got Ambush, it'll go hidden again. Your opponent won't know which one it is that um, has been brought back from the graveyard, if you like. Uh, so again, adding to that whole confusion. So, uh, yeah, so that is it, guys. Some pretty good use of the uh, ambush ability there. What we've seen so far is obviously a design that is there to confuse your opponent and baffle them and make them make, like, mistakes um, and sort of have to guess the trade, that type of thing as well. Uh, there are other new mechanics coming as well with this faction, um, but you'll have to wait for that. As I said at the beginning of this video, you will have your hands on these cards on Friday the uh friday not the 16th friday the yeah the 16th 16th of august and look out from other content creators who are going to be revealing cards throughout this week let me know in the comments what you think are you excited which card do you like the look of and uh, yeah thanks for watching guys hit that like button if you feel that way and i'll see you in the next one